sun, beach. Ajman. Well, the smallest Emirates, nothing spectacular, but beautiful. Hello and welcome back. Now, this is the second video what I had uh, here. And uh, no, actually, yeah, it's the second video. Now, uh, I still don't have my motorcycle here, as you know from my last video. Uh, at the moment, I have a small rental car. Uh, okay, nothing spectacular. Um, I made in the meantime, uh, I managed to go to Dubai. I made uh, contact with the Ducati dealership in Dubai. Uh, a gentleman called Sasha, a South African, very, very uh, nice uh, guys there. I um, think I will be in good hands there as well. And uh, well, to make a contact and uh, to see what is the possibility of uh, maybe uh, getting a bike from them uh, to test ride uh, some of the Ducati models. Uh, now, till, till date. Honestly speaking, I was driving only my uh, Ducati Multistrada 950, but uh, this might end, uh, might change. Now we are still in the last days of Ramadan uh, here in uh, uh, the United Arab Emirates, or so in the Muslim world, so to say. Uh, it's about three to four days more. Uh, that's why this beach uh, is certainly fully deserted. I mean, uh, there in the back, uh, you see this car, he was driving in the sea, uh, people having fun. If you come here at night time, the whole beach is full. I mean, people coming here for barbecue. I mean, I mean, literally, everything is, is packed with people at night time. Families uh, doing barbecue. Uh, in the winter months, people coming here with the caravan, uh, doing camping here on this beach, uh, pretty cool. I mean, uh, when you see in the back the buildings, uh, they are rather close, but uh, to reach here it takes you a good half an hour because there's the water in between, you know, so this what you see here in front is the port entrance. But uh, let me um, take you into uh, Ajman and uh, show you a little bit, a uh, few impressions of this and hopefully soon I can uh, satisfy you with one of, uh, with a new um, motorcycle uh, video review uh, let's see uh, what kind of uh, model i will uh, get from uh, ducati uh, dubai uh, ducati uae and uh, yeah but let me show you now ajman hello i'm nikolai welcome to spoke wanderer let's roll At the Cornish, here in Ajman, uh, the area you see a uh, few of so these quite big uh, buildings, and uh, directly the sea. People are swimming. This is uh, basically a public beach here, where uh, people can enjoy. Uh, here's free entrance, um, certainly it's not that uh, nice uh, to compare with uh, Dubai But uh, still, look at this So what you see here in the background uh, from me That's the Al Nuraba uh, watchtower here in Ajman at the Cornish Let's see if we get a better shot of it. Oh, very nice, these guys. <laughs> now, this was uh, basically since 2000. Sorry, this was basically since uh, 1930, since the 1930s like the first line of defense uh, from the seaside. Now, Ajman has like a 16 kilometer stretch uh, um, of uh, beach uh, front and uh, certainly there were more than that. And uh, Sheikh Rashid uh, bin Rashid bin Al Noaimi, uh, he commissioned uh, this watchtower in uh, 2000 uh, for uh, renovation. 
and uh, since then it's uh, here. Uh, I wonder if you can go inside at one point, but uh, yeah, this is uh, not for today to explore. And you guys, you can see modern buildings kind of everywhere. now in Almarsa uh, which is actually at the moment as you can see totally deserted uh, what you see there this is for kids this is to blown up uh, so they can uh, slide uh, at night like a uh, jumping castle here's coffee shops here's restaurants uh, in the back some food trucks but having still Ramadan at the moment, is, it's certainly yeah, all closed. They open up uh, just, I would say like uh, six o'clock in the afternoon, the shop's gonna be open and uh, there you can buy then some coffee and uh, people who are fasting, uh, they take uh, in some of these places their iftar. So Almarsa is also kind of uh, planned, or in, originally it was planned uh, like a, a marina. Now the marina they built in Alzora, uh, where we also gonna be. And uh, what they made here, I think what they did is quite nice. Um, some coffee shops, a uh, lot of empty places still. So there's still potential for more. And uh, this is basically the view what I uh, would see. It's fascinating, you know, with no people. Tonight when you come here, it's buzzing. This boat, what you see there, you can have like a, at the moment an iftar cruise. Uh, so you have your iftar there. And uh, the port in the back. Uh, this boat, uh, you can have also then uh, like a dinner cruise uh, during the whole year, I suppose, except when it should be a bit stormy weather. Let's go to the next location. Now what is also nice here, they do a lot uh, for kids. Um, now unfortunately, uh, almost 40 degrees, you can see it, it would be nice to have. Uh, you see these things here? All this place is basically for water games. And there's this light and all. And uh, families come at night time with the kids jumping between these uh, water fountains which come up uh, irregularly. And uh, yeah, very nice. I mean, during Ramadan now certainly there's no music. Let's wait until Ramadan is over after some days and uh, maybe there will be also some music playing along with it. Uh, but uh, these are gonna make a short uh, at a later stage with, uh, for you. So now I finalized also the time frame of bringing my uh, beloved uh, Ducati Multistrada 950 here to the United Arab Emirates. Now as soon as Ramadan is over, so the first week of May, I'm going to initiate all uh, the paperwork uh, for the Canier de Passage. Papers are actually already filled. Um, I just need to basically finalize it, uh, set the date when I want to have it here or as of when I want to have the Canary Passage uh, valid. Uh, I think it will take about six to seven weeks until uh, the papers reach there. Everything is done uh, from the ADAC in Germany, uh, the German Automobile Club, and uh, till the papers are back with me here uh, in the United Arab Emirates. So. Uh, I think this is quite a good time frame. Then um, 
beginning end of uh, July, beginning of August, I'm gonna travel to quickly to Romania to hand over my bike to the courier uh, to who transports it uh, to Hamburg, and uh, from there it's gonna be packed and uh, shipped. Uh. So in my last video, um, we've been quickly here in the Heritage District, Heritage Village Ajman Museum and uh, now uh, it's a different light. We have almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, let's take a walk uh, when everything is kind of closed and then I explain a little bit more uh, about this Heritage uh, District here in Ajman. Ashman is one of the smallest emirates here in the United Arab Emirates uh, and um, how should I say a um, lot of pearl fishing was done but I think there is more or pearl diving it's called there is more in Sharjah uh, what is famous for Ashman they built these traditional boats these wooden boats the Daos now during Ramadan unfortunately the Dao yard we can't uh, visit so this is definitely something to see where you see really ancient craftsmanship uh, where they really built the boats out of uh, wood and uh, this is definitely uh, something which I'm gonna see later. Now what you see before as well I mean here in this district they have even motorcycle parking so which is pretty cool. Now you don't see many at the moment, it's uh, just so hot and during Ramadan uh, or during the week uh, people don't use it that much, it's pure leisure. You see this small uh, delivery, uh, here it's called Talabat and uh, KFC and whatever you have, uh, you have them all. Uh, you don't have Uber Eats and uh, things like that like in other places but uh, yeah, uh, big bikes you don't see that much during the week. So this entrance you've seen uh, most likely already from the last video. This is towards the Ajma Museum. Unfortunately, we can't uh, go into it uh, at this point of time. Now, it's, uh, it reflects quite nicely on how they built in the past. And yes, you can see this in Dubai as well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, unfortunately not too much known to people. So you don't have buses and buses of tourists coming here. I mean, at the end, du Dubai uh, with all this bling bling, <laughs> you have too much to do. So uh, to have a, a bit more, how should I say, laid back, uh, down to earth, uh, Emirate to visit. Uh, I mean, okay, there's uh, others as well. If you visit, for example, the city of Al Ain, if you uh, visit Ras Al Khaimah, if you visit Omar Quinn, it's also quite nice and not so much bling bling and uh, a little bit more typical. I mentioned to you before that there is uh, also, I found some uh, specific bike, uh, motorcycle parking spaces. Okay. Very nice. 